Hello everyone, I'm Harrison Angstrom and I built a PC. It's kind of weird that uh, now that it's been such a long period of time uh, in between sort of starting the series and obviously getting to where it is right now, I uh, you kind of learn a lot. So here's five things nobody tells you about building a PC. Now, number one, remember that you need to get what's perfect for you. I struggled initially with what I wanted to get because I wanted to have a fairly mid-range gaming PC, but I also needed something for editing, playing music, everyday kind of stuff. But I was a little bit sidetracked initially. People sort of get into debates online about what might be better when you have two choices. And it's the sort of classic Pepsi Coke debate. Uh, for example, if you were, say, looking for a certain processor, you might go with Intel, you might go with AMD, but regardless, you're gonna have a good processor at the end of the day. It's not like you're gonna grab something that came out in 2006 and wanna just put that in your PC and it's not gonna run anything normal. The point that you should always be making when you make a purchase, when you make a part purchase, is that is this something I need or is this something somebody else wants me to get? It's kind of as simple as that. And you can easily do this sort of research by just doing sort of little comparison guides. There's plenty of unbiased ones out there if you do a little bit of research. I'll put a few in the description below. But basically what you want and what you need is what you will initially have to get. Number two, always check the compatibility. Uh, I used PC Part Picker for literally weeks. I spent almost an hour a day in between November and December making sure I had the right parts. For example, the last part that I actually got um, on, to buy online was the RAM that I got here. And I had to get this specific type of RAM because it wouldn't necessarily fit with the motherboard that I got. Now this was a, this, like, this was a problem I made initially because I locked down uh, a motherboard because I thought, oh, it's going to have to work with everything uh, around it, which you don't necessarily have to do. If you find the parts and then you find a motherboard, go for it that way. Remember, there's no real order you have to do this in. You need to make sure that you have compatibility, that all the parts are to function together because those are the parts that you want. But remember, some things aren't gonna work and that's kind of okay, but you gotta be prepared for that. For example, uh, in a sort of a weird sort of turn of events, uh, the power supply that I have purchased is great. It's a great power supply and it's exactly what I needed for the wattage. However, if I want to add anything new in this PC, I might have to get a new power supply because it just doesn't have enough cables. Definitely enough power. 550 watts is exactly what I needed to power this thing. It basically only has 450 watts of parts that need to be utilized or used, but at the end of the day, I'm probably going to need a little bit more if I want to put anything else in there. For example, another video card or, say, another hard drive. And that's a problem I'm going to have to face and maybe spend another $200 on when I have the money. Thirdly, when you're putting your PC together, make sure you do it in small parts and you do it in the order that you need to do. Um, so I didn't, obviously, I mentioned in the commentary, but I didn't show in the build video. We took another three hours for troubleshooting after we were done. That full footage is four hours long. And, you know, that's kind of okay. That was how we spent that Sunday. But after that, when you had to load in the BIOS, when we had to load into the OS and all that stuff, it took a little bit of extra time. Basically, number four, if you haven't realized already, is going to be plan ahead. Give yourself some time. Give yourself an afternoon. Maybe don't do it in one full sweep like we did. I become obsessive when I have a task. I either get it done now or I feel like I will never get it done. I can get hit by a bus tomorrow and then this, this whole... Uh, sort of like uh, my final task will never be uh, sort of completed. I always think of when Albert Einstein died, there was uh, a photo of his desk and there was just papers everywhere. Like he had lived a full life and he had discovered these amazing things, but there's still a little bit, you know, there's always going to be a little bit left. That's why I like to get stuff done now. Unfortunately, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, want to take it in parts. I would suggest my sort of fifth thing is take your time because, you know, Eventually, you're gonna make a PC, it's gonna be full. It's gonna happen and you're gonna have a great time putting it together, but be patient with it. Some stuff's a little bit fiddly and I'm not a person who can take sort of fiddly stuff. I've got fat fingers and that's just kind of how it is. But you just need to just give yourself a little bit of time. Know it's gonna take a long time. Whether you do it over a full weekend, whether you do it over a full week, it doesn't matter. Give yourself a little bit of time to put it together because at the end of the day, you're gonna have something you're gonna have to troubleshoot it's not going to be a final product, it's not going to be a final um, build until you've finished it, until you're happy with it. It is essentially an incomplete task. But you know, if it's running stuff and it's working, it's the greatest feeling of all. Um, so yeah, so those, you know, five tips, five things that people just don't tell you when you're building a PC. You've just got to be patient, got to have the right parts, 
Got to work together with what you have. Make sure you're doing it for you and you're doing it for the right reasons. And finally, just just know that you're going to have to spend some time troubleshooting. For example, uh, what we did eventually is we took, uh, even though we put all those parts together and it's a great time lapse and blah blah blah, it looks like good footage, we took everything out eventually and we had to put in just the basics. Just the basics so it ran and then eventually when we loaded in the BIOS and the OS, then we started to put those things together. Which I highly suggest. If I do another build in 2016, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just the motherboard, the power, the RAM, the, uh, the uh, processor, and one of the hard drives. Just going to have that and then get a USB sort of for the OS and then I'll take it from there. Uh, so I'm Harrison Ekstrom. Uh, I still don't know how to build a PC because I'm learning and so are you. Uh, have a wonderful day and may all your builds be good ones.